And welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. We all know comedy is subjective, but a resurfaced years old skit featuring Tiffany Haddish and Aries Spears more than crosses the line, according to some. The video shows Aries Spears looking at a little boy in his underwear with R. Kelly playing in the background, and you'll see that in just a moment. The stomach turning video is at the center of a lawsuit that accuses the comedians of child abuse. My next guest, have an update on the case. Our guests are here on The Factor on Censored, Young Jazz and Jay Mack from 97.9 The Box. Guys, so I heard about the lawsuit involving Tiffany Haddish and Aries Spears, two comedians accused of sexually abusing uh, children. And I saw the video, at least a 15 second clip. And I gotta tell you both, I just felt uncomfortable looking at the video. There's nothing sexually explicit, but it's implied. And it just left me uncomfortable and I didn't understand why Aries and Tiffany would do such a video. Jazz, your thoughts on it? The video, like you said, it was really disturbing, Isaiah. Like, I couldn't believe, like, you know, what they were just insinuating. And then the fact that they also were using an R. Kelly song under the video, like, it was just super cringy. And it was like, I don't understand, even if it was 10 or whatever years ago, how they could have ever participated in something like this. Because, like, you know, doing stuff with children and being a pedophile and stuff, like, because I think it was called, it was called, like, Diaries of a Pedophile or something like that. Like, mm -hmm. that that's never been okay. So I was just very confused as to when and why they ever did it. Now, Tiffany Haddish released a statement, I think, or maybe one of her representatives saying that the mother has uh, shopped this lawsuit around L.A. Hollywood for quite some time. No attorney would take it. But I could see why the mom would be disturbed by mm -hmm. this skit. Your thoughts on that, J-Mac? Man, you know what? First of all, I blame the mom also because I would never let my kid participate in anything like this. Y'all didn't describe anything about the video. Let me describe some of the video to the audience. A nine-year-old kid was all oiled up. Every Spears was looking through a paper at this kid laying on the floor to some R. Kelly music. It was such a disturbing thing. I've never seen anything like it. I blame not only the mama, I blame Every Spears. I blame everybody who was in the skit anybody who had a part of the skit, the cameraman, this was mm -hmm. just such a disgusting thing for me to see. And he was in his underwear. We forgot to add that part. The little boy's in his underwear. And then there was another video on there too, Isaiah, where the little boy was looking at him, like kind of like they switched roles. Like who does that kind of stuff? It was just weird. And check this out. I don't care what kind of schemes the mother uh, push all the time because they mm -hmm. said this woman is a person who does schemes all the time i don't care what we care about is this video right here what right and, and these children this? involved and i think they said uh the the young girl who's now i guess of age is representing herself now in this lawsuit uh young jazz which means it's destined to go nowhere but your thoughts on that you know, I guess she wants to just have that firsthand account of it because it was her and I believe it was like her brother, right? Her younger brother. Yeah. And so, you know, just because of the trauma that they faced, I'm, you know, I'm pretty sure that's probably why she wants to represent herself. But anybody who sees the video can see that something was wrong there, regardless of like, like J-Max said, if the mom was a scammer or whatever the case is, because Aries, he also spoke out about it recently on a podcast. And he was saying, you know, how his lawyers told him, that, you know, this is going to be a shakedown and all kinds of things. But I, th I just think anybody who sees the video can see something was clearly wrong regardless those are just the facts and now i see something wrong i don't know how much they should be punished but i always say man we got to wait till the court decide on this one i've already decided but the mm -hmm. court has to decide it in the <laughs> real world mm -hmm. you know you're wondering what these two people were thinking thinking and i mean tiffany haddish and aries but uh, uh, uh tiffany also said that she was tired of uh, dealing with this potential shakedown, uh, this mm -hmm. money grab. But I, I don't understand how they didn't look at this video and see that it was inappropriate. I would say the only thing I could say about it is, you know, comedians, they say some, you know, risque things sometimes. So but they children probably aren't typically in involved. You know, That's children in I'm underwear saying. where you're right. suggesting something like this. This it is crazy. Like no common sense right here used at all. 
Mm-mm. They went too far. This is not okay. Mm-mm. All right, guys. Well, good hey, talking to you. I gotta, to say, you. This I mean... we... I gotta Go ahead, say this J-Man. before we get off, Isaiah. If he hadn't have went at Lizzo, we probably wouldn't even be talking about this. He's having a bad week. You shouldn't have went at Lizzo. <laughs> because when you go out to people, they come check your background and see what you have done. And that's all I want to say. And really yep, quick, and- Jay Mack, before we lose you, for those who are not familiar with that controversy, tell us what happened with Aries Spears as it relates to Lizzo. I'll let my little girl tell you. Let, uh, tell him, Jazz. He basically made some comments um, alluding to the fact that he thought Lizzo was disgusting and like he would never date her and obviously body shaming her and fat shaming her and stuff. And then Lizzo turned around uh, a couple days later and won a VMA award and she clapped right back at him. So he was tripping and Tiffany Haddish might have been in girls trip, but girls, she was tripping too. And we, we're just done with the both of them right now. We're going to have to see though. The courts will decide. <laughs> Is this cancel or kind of cancel or on hold? On pause, for sure. I say on pause. <laughs> Yo, oh, and by the way, Young Jess, happy birthday. Thank you so much, Isaiah. I was uncensored on the beach, cheeks out and all, but I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> We're glad to have you back. Thank you, guys, and we'll be back with more Factor.